How are you doing? This is a short video. I'm just going to take you through how to set up a data source in order to data drive your tests in Ready API. On the screen, you can see I have a single test and we provide a member ID in order to get back a record related to that ID. We may want to check and assert various values in the response. So in this case, we're just checking to see we've got a valid uh, HTTP status code. Our response SLA is within that threshold. And we check that there is an existence of postcode in the response. If we want to check multiple values, I can simply connect to a data source by inserting a data source test step. And then we just have to configure a different a data source. This could be the internal tool data generator to generate some random data, a JDBC connection to a database, or in my example here, I'm just going to connect to a local Excel file that has some random IDs in it. And I can read in the data just to make sure everything's set up connect correctly. So we'll set up, we'll set it to run from the started cell A2, so we don't read in the header row. Now I can have a look at my data loop. I don't, in this example, I don't want to discard successful test steps because I want to be able to show you what a successful test step looks like. So let's go in and run our test case. It very quickly iterates through all those values. So if I open up an actual request, you can see that we've sent an ID of BUP1234. We get the response, we get the postcode, and we get the response within the SLA time. If you go back, you can see we have a failed request here. So the failed request failed because we got an, a response from the API that said it wasn't a valid ID. Um, so it also, in our messages, we can see what other assertions failed. So it's really easy to connect to a database and data drive your tests. I hope this was helpful. Talk to you next time.